Hello and welcome. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to one of the newest products in our range for our Luxon partners. It's the Tree to Air Bridge. Whether you're looking to expand the air range in an existing installation, or add the option of being able to use Luxon Air devices in an installation altogether, this is your go-to device. In this video, we take a closer look at installing it, pairing it in Luxon Config, as well as a couple of application examples. Let's take a look. The tree to air bridge can be added to a new or existing run of tree cable. As you've now come to know, the green green white is for tree communication and the orange orange white would be for the supply of 24 volts DC. When you're deciding which run of tree cable to add the device to, bear in mind that the associated branch of the tree extension should have sufficient allowance for adding more tree devices, with each branch able to accommodate up to 50 devices. Then with its small form factor, the tree to air bridge can be installed in most conventional back boxes. Once the tree cable has been physically connected to the tree to air bridge, we can turn to the built-in LED of the device to see its status. If it flashes orange, the device has not yet been paired in config, but it's otherwise good to go. If it flashes red, we recommend to check the wiring. Now we can turn to Luxon config for the pairing. To do this, simply select the associated tree branch and do a tree device search. Select the installation location and give the device a suitable name. Once you've completed the steps in this pairing dialog, you'll now be able to add an air device. With the recent version of the Loxon app, you can also add air devices directly from within the app. Now that we have seen how to install and commission the tree to air bridge, let's take a look at a couple of examples where it might be useful. Here we have a house where Loxon tree has been used as the main interface. With the addition of an airbase extension in the cabinet to allow for some additional air devices to be used in the recreational area, themselves creating their own mesh network. Now you may or may not have known that a future extension is planned for the house, but either way, you've followed general best practice and made sure that the tree branches have remaining device allocation available. When it comes time to build the master suite extension of this home, you're able to install a tree to air bridge at the end of the run in the hallway. Naturally, you wouldn't have been able to install a secondary cabinet for an airbase extension in this kind of location. Now that you have the tree to air bridge installed here, all the air devices that are included in the master suite will be able to form their own mesh network, communicating back to the cabinet facilitated by the tree to air bridge. Now let's take a look at a commercial application. Here we have an example of a conventional rectangular office space. The layout of the building provides space for a cabinet in the riser behind the reception area on the west. You're planning though to use both tree and air in this installation. To do this, at planning stage, you decide to include a tree to air bridge on the west side of the building in the reception area, as well as on the end of a run going to the east of the building. This makes sure that the remote airs in the meeting rooms and presentation rooms are covered, and even the touch and grill on the terrace for those all important staff get together barbecues on a Friday afternoon. And there you have it. We hope this video has shown you how versatile and useful this little device is. Find more information on the Loxon website and webshop. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay up to date. For now though, thanks for watching.